some of the current artists that I'm into um, would be like Joey Badass, um, Shade Noir. <laughs> and I'm such an old head. Like, I do like young artists. Don't get it wrong. But it's like, they're, you know, doing what they do. But that's not in my playlist. <laughs> I'm just throwing them off top because this is what I can think of right now. So, like, Sky Zoo, for example. Um, Lucky Day. Uh, Bjork's in there. Um, uh, who else is in there? Uh, been listening to a lot of Wu Tang. I guess the whole series got me reinvigorated, so I've been listening to a lot of Wu Tang. Um, yeah, Big Pun definitely. Um, Nas is one of my favorites. Neek initially hit me up um, to be on a song called "Do It for Love" off his Quest Bar album, and um, I, I knew of Neek. Uh, definitely was fond of his music and his work. And so um, we did the song. Uh, it was pretty easy, you know, just knocked it out. And then um, it was a really, really good song, really big song. We performed it. We, like, started to build a relationship, um, a musical relationship. And so then um, he let me know that he, um, you know, had the production belt. And so that, you know, if I was open to working with him on any music, you know, let him know. And so I definitely did. And so one thing led to another, um, like that one song I did with him ended up being uh, me and him working on songs and then eventually confirming that it would be, we would produce an album together. So um, we didn't like do it uh, like, as an album at first, we just wanted to see, you know, how many songs we could do. I was kind of kicking some dust off because I had been inactive for a while. So basically, once we got together and saw how easy it was to knock things out, um, you know, like I said, one thing led to another. And then next thing we know, we had multiple songs, put our uh, the High Priestess together. And so um, Neek is really cool to work with, um, easy going. He knows his stuff. He's he's very versed, well versed in many things, not just um, production. So um, we would have like conversations, you know, we would meet up once a week, we'd have conversations and that would lead to, you know, different topics and whatnot. Um, the music, you know, he would make on the spot. We would go through some records. And so it was just like, it was a vibe. You know, we, we just kept it consistent. And like I said, um, that's how the High Priestess came about. So the way Neek and I um, got together was he reached out uh, for me to feature on his song, Do It For Love, for his Quest Bar album. So that's how we initially connected. And then from there, um, he opened the doors to for us to work on some more stuff. Because a lot of times you're looking for a producer, you know, you want that right, that right one, you know, and I've, I've worked uh, with many producers. And so for this album, if you notice, it's just one producer. So that made it a lot easier for me to just stay consistent with one person. So we would meet up uh, once a week. And so that kept it consistent and just see what we could come up with. It was no pressure. It was not like, oh, we're going to do, you know, this many songs or we're going to do this album. It was just trying, I was just trying to get my feet wet. We were trying to see what the chemistry was. So once we saw, oh, like first song, like, oh, we popping. Then we just kept it going. And so over time, uh, you know, we, we figured like, okay, we think we have enough to actually compile a, a whole album. I like uh, Neek as an MC and um, as a producer um, and just his vibe. I mean, as a human, he's just a cool guy. So um, it was just, it was like easy. He's from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. I've toured and been around a few places. And so it was just cool to connect with somebody from home. Like I wanted that just organic Chicago, you know, me just telling my story, like that whole vibe. I wanted that. And so he definitely has that. And also um, we worked with Rashid Hadi, who is um, like legendary in my opinion as well in the Chicago scene. So I just knew with those two that I had a really good chance of like, producing a good album. The chemistry um, between Neek and I um, is unique because, um, like I said, we're just uh, one of the same, like Chicago soul, that whole vibe. Um, he's a family man. He's spiritual. Um, he's a positive, you know, male. And um, it was just a good balance for us because um, just where I'm at, um, you know, you got to be, you know, 
<laughs> grounded and just, you know, like easygoing and creative. And on the business side, Neek um, is exceptionally like way past where I'm at. So he definitely helped me structure things and organize things. And like I said, just be very consistent. And so um, it wasn't a lot of we didn't waste a lot of time. Peace and love. It's Rita J. And you're checking out 24-7 HH.